So I'm going to say peace, love, and light. Welcome to Powerhouse Tarot. I am Energy Goddess. Welcome, and this is going to be the pick a card. Card two messages. Card two. This is card two. It was Kali. Destruction, y'all. Mm. So we're going to get into the messages for Kali and what Kali has here for us. That's cute. Cutest, the cutest destruction. I love it. <laughs> I do love it. You know, Kali's one of those goddesses. I love, I, I work with that energy. I love it. Mm. Okay. So. Spirit, connect me to the messages for card two with Goddess Kali and Destruction. Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. What do we need to hear for those of us that picked card two? Card two messages. What needs to be heard during this time for those of us that picked card two? Okay, so we got out the King of Pentacles. I'll be saying the cards wrong, but the message be there. I do. <laughs> I'll be looking at my playback and like, that's not that card. <laughs> Spirit, connect me to the messages for Kyle or card three. Card two, sorry. I might have fucked that up too. Card two. Card two. I feel like the message be there. I just might stumble over my words or I'm gonna say something sometimes. Spirit, let's get one more as well. Here it is. And <laughs> temperance, bottom of the deck, and the six of swords. Let's bring you back. Uh, Knight of Cups. And the lovers. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. You know, Kylie's all about destruction. She's all about, look, I will destroy everything that needs to be destroyed so something better can come, okay? And just know that that's what Kali represents with the destruction, you know? And she has all these uh, ways that she can destroy things, you know, with the multiple uh arms as you see in this card so it's kind of like you know something to be reckoned with something to be aware of because I feel like we all have this energy within us you know sort of this Kali energy right um destruction okay first message out is NB uh king of pentacles it's coming in upright so i see us being dignified i see us definitely working though on our uh sustenance our earthly uh things that we desire maybe if it's a job you know whatever that's very grounded not a risk taker um but stable and just preoccupied with our finances at this time you know um 
So, <clears throat> but what I'm getting here for, okay, so that's what I'm getting for this card. Um, now, the Three of Swords, okay, let's talk about the yeah, Three of Swords. I mean, I know the Three of Swords is like heartache, pain, you know what I'm saying, betrayal, that sort of thing. But it's coming in in reverse. So it's more like us releasing it. I feel like there were things in our life that had to be destroyed with the Kali energy and this Three of Swords. Where there were pain and where we were suffering in our life. And I feel like we're, we're now coming to a place, those of us that picked the card too, you know, where we're trying to destroy that, um, not destroy the pain. I don't, feel, I don't feel like that's the proper words for the exactly the situation, but it's more like face it or release it, you know, overcome this here. And I feel like it's more like just giving us the energy of being optimistic for the future when it comes to uh, what was destroyed. Um, the... The Knight of Pentacles. I see a lot of stability and security. Definitely working on self, preserving your energy at this time. You know, there. I feel like there was a lot of things that had to be destroyed around you or made anew or something like that. You know, um, but there's just pretty much this overall energy of you just being patient with yourself and your growth. I feel like even when it comes to your money and your resources, like um, <clears throat> there may be some sort of unexpected money actually that comes in with this uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. Okay, so be um, aware of that as well. Those of us that picked card two. And then we got these um, page of swords. That's so funny. Like, it's like the page of swords, the king of pentacles, the uh, knight of pentacles, and then it's the page of swords. Okay, so knights and swords and pages, huh? I feel like with this page of swords, it could have been energies around us that were maybe malicious or hypocrites, suspicious, causing us problems. I feel like those energies had to be destroyed. And I feel like with the destruction card and Kali, that energy was kind of, that's what came in and really destroyed it. Or us at this time with this page of pinnacles somebody could have been like trying to interfere with what we had going on or just um being just malicious with it or some sort of hypocrite you know as if they should don't stay trying to you know uh you know the energy you know the type right and that's what it was right what did it brought about some sort of transformation i feel like and this, for the most part, was you to really transform it. I don't feel like this other person transformed. I mean, I feel like this is more so for you, you know, because it's like you're on a spiritual transformation and it brings you a lot of new beginnings and you're able to let go of things that, you know, they just don't serve you. This is like a low vibrational energy that just wishes to, um, you know, project and just be harmful and malicious, you know, just truly. And I feel like this, you know, those of us who pick card two, it's about getting rid of those energies from, from us at this time, wherever they reside. Big messages about that. Um, with the transformation, it's bringing in a lot of clarity, though, because it's a spiritual transformation. And like I said, we're starting to let go of things that 
really they already needed an ending so there's a new beginning here you know unexpected whether we wanted this or were expecting this that's what the spiritual journey is about i feel like for the most part and we're discovering that you know and we're just destroying anything that's kind of like on our path right now that's trying to like avert us from that in which is ours right so to speak okay now <clears throat> was that the lovers <clears throat> or the chariot i feel like with the chariot energy this is like take on you know the, what you can take on you know the spiritual journey some sometimes aspects of us you know, are darker and are more um, destructive, right, um, in nature. I feel like that's the balance of it with the chariot, you know what I'm saying? It has dark, but it's light too, right? Um, I feel like you need both. It's kind of like embrace both parts of you, all aspects of you, right, um, through the process of this transformation for those of us that pick card too, you know, on a... Um, wider level right um because the spiritual journey is you know it's 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 how we interpret it right and on a wider sense you know it brings in a, a beautiful change i feel like to the soul to the spirit you know it invites in something different you know that we haven't been working with right other than the physical sense right so it, 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 it feel, I feel like embrace all aspects of you, you know, because some, so many times when we get on this spiritual journey, we're ready to go into the light, right? And, and, and only be there. That's where we want to be, right? That's the whole point, premise behind it. Okay. And then we forget about the um, process in which it took us to get to the light. We had to experience a hell of a lot of dark. We had to experience a hell of a lot of lows. And in that, that's where the testimony, that's where the growth, that's where the true potential and strength is. That's the part, that's the crumbs, that's the, the whole meal, that's the everything, right? So it's not just about, I guess, the lighter side of us, you know, or just accepting the lighter side of us, right? Um, those of us who pick card two, right? I feel like there's something we want to keep in mind. Ten of Pentacles messages. Um, this speaks about abundance. This speaks about community, right? But for the most part, I'm seeing with this Ten of Pentacles, you know, you building that up, having that around you, having resources with that, and the overall of it, right? Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, um. There could be also some sort of unexpected, like, money coming in, right, as it came in right up under the um, Knight of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Pentacles also is like a promise from, you know, the divine that when you get to the certain point, you'll be given something that you asked for right in the earthly plane and that's here <coughs> again with the ten of pentacles kind of like your overall deeds that's why i feel like i wanted to share that message that's why that channel message came in about this um chariot energy because it's like we have to embrace all aspects of us you know to kind of get it get the thing that that inheritance that overall collection of what was needed for us right you know culmination um the the reaping right this is a reaping of a sort of energy is what i'm getting okay Now with the Queen of Pentacles coming in in reverse, 
I do see us that picked card one having some sort of insecurity or some sort of lack of motivation around us at this time. So be aware that the things that you may have destroyed or been destroyed in the past, part of what was destroyed was that inner sense of victimhood that made you feel like you were incapable of something and maybe made you feel like you didn't have the motivation or the desire to to do what it is that you needed to do but you're in the queen of pentacles literally that energy right so you want to keep in mind to keep that going <clears throat> so how you could change this queen of pentacles energy upside down transmute it for you is to basically embrace a little bit of gratitude, embrace a little appreciation for where you are, okay? Because the queen of pinnacles in reverse is about um, recognizing where we're insecure, where we're unstable, you know, in our lives and we lack motivation, you know? So I feel like that part of us is being destroyed now so that we're able to do more for ourselves, those of us that pick hard to, you know? um on all aspects of our lives i feel like <clears throat> this could be definitely promotions jobs um just anything that's going to further your resources pushing yourself harder if you're self employed whatever this is right for the, for you right but just having that opportunity at this time um to kind of um push through that queen of pentacles energy in reverse for us at this time, right? And our final message with the temperance, right? <clears throat> the temperance is all about patience, you know? Temperance is all about balance, you know? Temperance wants to remind us that though Callie's here bringing in the destruction, you know, Callie realizes at the end of the day that I got to stop somewhere and I got to, you know, assess what I've done. Right? So, I feel like that's the temperance. That's when Callie turns into, into her temperance, you know, because she's very balanced. Just as much as she can destroy, she can, you know, she has that healing effect as well, right? So, it's like embracing, again, um, all aspects, all parts of ourselves, Right? The whole thing. It's going to bring you so much peace when you're, you know, apply moderation to certain things. Maybe there's certain things in your life where you just need a little moderation, right, at this time. Maybe there's activities that you could do to bring you inner calm. Okay? But whatever these things are, do it because it'll give you an extra sense of perspective. And tranquility. And it also invites in harmonious relationships as well as soulmates. Okay? And serenity for us. Right? When we embrace all aspects of who we are with the temperance. You know? And that's the that's that's the cheese. That's the cheese. Because I feel like those of us that pick card too, you know, a lot of us, we got things going on. But hey, the main thing is, are we loving ourselves through and through, right? And where where do we slack off and where do we need to go and pick up and brush up and re replenish and renourish and revitalize after the storm has cleared? Now that we finally have some clarity, because we are this dual being, and how do we embrace it? I can't fear my darkness, or I'm going to fear other people's darkness, right? So I have to embrace all parts of me, to embrace all parts of everybody else. Or even if I don't want to embrace all parts to them, but just be amicable or just be civilized, right, in the world, right? Um, 
<clears throat> being able to, like I said, just for the most part, create the harmonious relationships um, that you seek in, in all levels, whether they be professional or intimate, right? So, yeah. That's what I'm seeing for those of us that pick card two, our messages, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and slide into the uh, abundance messages as well. Okay. Let me know how you guys like these messages. Make sure you give these videos a big fat thumbs up if you do enjoy the messages. Okay. Hurry. Let energy know. Let's What's the messages for those of us who picked a uh, card two? Attracting, not chasing, okay? You're also in this energy here, those of us that picked card two, where you're sort of attracting now. You're realizing um, the, the energy that you have within you and that it's uh, comprised of so much more and you don't have to chase things because actually that energy makes things run from you when you chase it, right? So this is about you learning that true, <clears throat> you know, magician shit, how to alchemize your energy, right? And this is beautiful. What are the messages? Anything or anyone you chase after will run at, will run the other way because of the fears underlying the chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy, okay? Cooperation instead of comp competition, excuse me. What's yours is yours. No one can take it from you. There's no need to compare and there's an abundance for us all. You have a complete access to an unlimited abundance for yourself and share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Let's go one more. What's another abundance message for card two? Dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. Okay. Some of us definitely, you know, if you aren't journaling, get to journaling. Okay. Helps with abundance manifestation. All right, give your relationship a chance. These are the romance messages. Retreat. Stay optimistic about your love life. Card three or card two. Express your love. Messages for card two. We have our honeymoon and codependency. So be aware if there's any codependency, right? And we'll find out if they're hiding something as well, right? Just to <laughs> kind of give it a real rounded sort of read, right? Is anybody hiding anything from those that pick card three? Card two, sorry. Why am I just doing that? Find out the truth crushed me. I wish things could be different. I hope that you can forgive me one day for those of us that picked card two. Those are the hidden messages. All right. Love and light. Let me know how you like these messages. Peace.